really, you know, be able to get drafted. And um, we did a lot of rotating and stuff like that at UCLA. Most people don't know what that means, but we did a lot of receiver one series or receiver next series and here I could probably be more featured and then you know we throw the ball a lot more here. So all that stuff played into it um, just to get me ready for the next level. Devin and I go way back uh, dating back to high school we're kind of cross town rivals but I've always uh, been competitive with him doing uh, summer camps and competing against one another in high school. I think that since he's been here during the summer we really built a connection uh, quarterback receiver connection and I'm just so excited to see him grow. You know, a lot of it has to do with my mom. Um, you know, she was diagnosed with breast cancer last summer, and I felt the need to stay close to her. So, it going during camp, going into the season, last season, and she didn't even tell me because she knew that it would bother me so much during camp. So she waited to tell me until camp was over, or a week before the game started. It was weird. Um, she told me, and at first, I kind of just got stuck, like, not you, you know. And then um, I, I didn't cry in front of her, but I told her I had to go to use the bathroom and I just started bawling. And then I came back, you know, I was good again and I started talking to her. Yeah, you know, I can, I can kind of relate to that just because my dad had cancer and I've kind of been through the process. So during the summer when I knew it was kind of hitting him hard and, and I, you know, we would text and he would just kind of tell me you know, what he was going through and his emotions and just kind of being there for him, you know, I felt I felt, I felt his pain and I know that how much he wants to play football for, for a specific reason. His why is that he plays for his family, specifically his mom. Yeah, I think I just blank out, you know. I think that's one thing I've learned since she's been diagnosed is just, I don't want to say not to care. That's a little bit too blunt, sounds too harsh, but just to be free and stop trying to worry about stuff so much because, you know, when she was diagnosed, I was worrying about that and then the season wasn't going as I planned. So I was worrying about that and my mind really just, went 360 and you know when I'm on the field now I just try to play as free and just not really football is going to end one point or another at some point in your life so just have fun and you know your mom is fine so they're cancer free now and uh, just have fun while you're out there. As serious as I want to be about football I know it's not my end game you know I got my degree from a really great school and I'm starting my master's here so of course I want to go to the NFL and I think you know with how things are going and some of the stories I've heard that that's a really good chance. But if that doesn't work out, I want to be athletic director, a coach, um, stay close to the game. Just to make it to the NFL, play for like 10 to 12 years, buy a house in California big enough for everybody to just vacation to when they feel like they just are going through it. I'm going to the house, you know. The house is our house, everyone's house. So if there's any dream for me, it's just to be able to provide for not only my family, but my friends, just everybody that I feel like is giving a part of themselves to put me where I am.